Dark parables say what? Hey there, hi, welcome everyone. We're gonna play a little bit of Dark Parables, Return of the Salt Princess. And by the way, I'm back. I'm not all the way back. I'm maybe 80% back. And I'm super happy to be live streaming today for all of the beautiful people there on Twitch and YouTube. This is the 14th Dark Parables game. And what makes this really special is that it's back to Blue Tea Games as the developer. Epix Entertainment has farmed out the development back to Blue Tea Games, which is super cool. <gasps> and look at that, a super duper $10 over there from LC. Thank you so much to Getting Healthy and glad to have you back. Thank you so much for the super donation. I forget what it's called on YouTube, but oh my gosh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. We're going to play this game. We're going to dive right in here. One of the complaints I saw was that um, Blue Tea didn't include a custom option for uh, their difficulties. But anyways, I always play it easy anyway, so what does that matter? Here we go. Wow, that was super generous of you, Elsie. Thank you so much. Cheers to getting better again. Yay! Uh, why are we LOAing? Oh, there we go. Now we're LODing. You're gonna go to the beach? Well, enjoy the beach. Thank you so much for stopping in to say hi. No jump map? Oh my gosh. Days later, Krakow, Poland, and we're on a horse. Shocking. Welcome to Krakow, Detective. In the past few days, the old town beneath the ruins of the Grat Kingdom has been rapidly turning into salt. A mystical species of white dragonflies appear to be the culprit behind this baffling case of salinization. Ironically, salt was the kingdom's main source of wealth. Unfortunately, Little is known about the Grat Kingdom, as it is protected by a magical barrier that does not allow anyone to enter the kingdom. What we do know is that a hundred years ago, the princess of Grat Kingdom suddenly disappeared. The Grat Palace also collapsed around the same time. Sources say that a girl resembling the missing princess has been sighted in the Old Town. She may be the link to all these strange happenings. Find this girl and solve the mysteries behind the Salinization and the Grat Kingdom. Good luck, detective. That is indeed always the case. We always enter in on a horse with a tape cassette playing our mission back. Oh my gosh, yeah, I am already getting a deja vu vibe to... They must actually be using the Blue Tea engine because 
I know that it was mentioned in the chat that there won't be fast travel down here. And normally they have like the option of special features only in the newer ones. This is going to be interesting. They literally went back to the old game engine. Wow. Now what Blue Tea has been known for with their games in the Dark Parable series is one graphics, the fantasy fairy tale graphics. Two, the stories. The stories have been solid, absolutely incredible stories. So those are your two things to look forward to. Some of the cons obviously are the fast traveling map, which kind of came later with Epix. And obviously just sort of the older aged look of the interface down here. So anyways, let's carry on. I'm so excited, woo! Chris will change to a hand. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is there someone trapped under the rubble? Barney rubble trouble. Chris will change to a speech bubble so you can interact. Oh, a shower of rubble suddenly fell on me. My legs are trapped. It's Lenny Manelli. Now you have your first objective. Now I'm really curious to see how they do the parables because Epix went to morphing parables, which made me sad. Let's have a look here. Rescue the girl under the rubble. The cursor will change into a magnifying glass. It shows you an area that you can examine. You can find many useful items throughout your mission. Good old, oh my God, that is classic dark parable sound effects when you pick something up. I wonder what legendary clan this plaque is talking about. Why is this plaque being held by a dragon? And if you are wondering, yes, I have recorded every single Dark Parables game. Right back to number one. There seems to be something lying on the ground. What is it? It's a random chunk of green stuff. With a plus sign. To discover what lies beneath this thick moss, I must find something to scrub it away. Not ready yet. The curse will change into an arrow to show that you can go to another area. The minimap pinpoints to your current location and highlights an area of interest. Where's my fast travel? No fast travel for you, Gibby. Alrighty. You pre-ordered God of War? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the one where there's like the old dude, old Kratos and like young boy or whatever. Mm-hmm. That is a good point, Brandon. We need to keep our eyes peeled for collectibles. Do we shout them out as we are playing along here. Who was that? He glared at me with such malice. I'm surprised he didn't attack me. The Salt Princess returns! Girl resembling the princess who went missing a hundred years ago, spotted in town. Ominous dragonflies turn everything into salt. Okay, this girl... is this girl really the long lost salt princess? Could she really be the mastermind behind this case? There is one of twenty morphing objects. Don't forget to shout those out in the chat. Aw, look at the little wolfy dude here. And that would be our first parable. I'm glad it wasn't morphing. Let's have a little peek at our parables. Looks like we're looking for little bits and pieces. And yes, this is the full version of the game. Dark Parables 14. So we've got, uh, looks like we've got six, no, one, two, three, four, five parables. Normally they will have a parable in the bonus chapter as well. Really? I can't put that on there? Alrighty then, never mind. So I have myself a fox accessory. What does a fox say? You are getting the Empress of the Deep vibe. Yeah, that's old school, right? The uh, fast travel is, or the lack of fast travel is like 2011-ish kind of vibe, yeah. My legs are trapped under these large pieces of rubble. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get you out of there. 
It's a frog, and it's kind of gorgeous, actually. The uh, one thing, uh, another thing that Dark Parables is known for is their ridiculously ornate kind of standard things, like with a pair of scissors, and it looks ridiculous. It looks like it's this pair of scissors is worth a million dollars. So I have this frog. I don't know if I can put that there? Yes, I can! And we have our first fragmented object game, or our first frog. And I love that it's a frog that generated our first frog. <laughs> wow, I'm just fanboying out over here big time. The dragonfly gem is hidden in this area. The panel at the bottom of the screen shows you the other missing pieces. So there you go, folks. We are frogging up the place. I think that is clever that they have their first frog in five years or maybe even more. And Blue Tea decides to have it with a frog motif. I think that's kind of cute. Yes, no HOSs, only frogs. And uh, this one's a fairly uh, easy one because of the variation in colors. They'll get harder where they'll have like a red theme and it'll be super tough to actually find the objects. This has got a good primary uh, spectrum of colors here. Dun, dun, dun. So that piece is there. We are making a dragonfly gem. It's all coming together nicely. Yes, Florence, I know, it's happy Sunday, exactly. I'm so happy to be back. I have been out of commission for three weeks now. And I'm not 100%, but I'm at least 80, and that's enough for the show to go on. Okay, we got one more, one more item. Got some dramatic music right there. Excellent. We have another beautiful dragonfly. Look at how pretty this thing is. It's ridiculously how pretty. So I now have dragonfly numero do. That's where that goes. Oh, because that's a butterfly. Uh, hello? Oh, you think the frog prince is nearby? Could be. Very much could be. So it looks like I need to get a dragon, a wolf, and maybe a bear for that. You're, you're happy to hear the silky tones? Well, uh, oh, thank you, I think. <laughs> it's just, you know what? <laughs> Seriously, I just, I don't want to get into it, but I'm happy to be back too. It, it's people that have chronic pain issues Wow, I don't even know. I can't even understand it. Mine has been more of an acute issue, but I really feel for you folks that have chronic pain issues and... Huh. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have to save our little uh, Nancy Drew uh, lady here. But I forget what we we're supposed to do. Apparently we... I'm not seriously hurt, but oh. I can't move my legs. If you could just lift the rubble, I would be able to get out. I wasn't sure what that was, but the speech bubble is something we had to continue. Pat Hatter says I have to do the butterfly next, so we are going to do with the butterfly. Uh, and now we have a flagpole. Hello! Hello to you, too. Well, I appreciate that, Jolene. It's been three weeks. Okay, let's tell me to go back to the butterfly as well. You guys know it, don't you? Okay, let's talk. Hi. Oh, 
Thanks for the save. My name is Seraphina. Right now, I'm looking for my sister. She should be in town somewhere. You're looking to get into this town too? But no one lives there anymore. Well, since you helped me out, let me return the favor and clear the path to town for you. I love the uh, anime style here. It's so good. Thank you for clearing the path. Surprised by my powers? I'm one of the princess's royal guards. I need to go find my sister. Good luck to you, stranger. Okay. So